Qualcomm Ventures, the investment arm of Qualcomm Incorporated, has committed to invest up to Rs 730 crore for a 0.15% equity stake in Geo Platforms. The latest investment in Geo Platforms is at an equity value of Rs 4.91 lakh crore and an enterprise value of Rs 5.16 lakh crore. This is the 13th deal secured by Geo Platforms in a span of 12 weeks bringing the total funds raised by the company to Rs 1.18 lakh crore. Johns Hopkins University has joined a growing list of prestigious higher education institutions in the US suing the Trump administration over its cruel decision not to allow foreign students to take online-only courses this fall semester. Last week, the Trump administration announced new rules for international students for the upcoming fall semester that requires them to take an in-person class to remain in the country. Some good news now. Focused and coordinated action by the Centre along with states and UTs, effective clinical management of coronavirus and timely diagnosis led to a consistent increase in the number of recovered cases in the country, the Union Health Ministry has said. The number of recovered cases exceeds active COVID-19 cases by 2,42,362 as on date, it said yesterday. It said the recovery rate has improved to 62.93%. Microsoft's LinkedIn is facing a class action lawsuit for snooping on iOS users' sensitive data and information without their knowledge. As per a report by Bloomberg, the lawsuit claims that LinkedIn programmed its iPhone and iPad applications to divert sensitive information. Chinese tech giant ByteDance may move video-making app TikTok's headquarters out of China. As per a report by the Wall Street Journal, ByteDance is looking at tweaking the corporate structure of TikTok as the app continues to face scrutiny in India, the US and now Australia. Hit hard by the coronavirus pandemic, the life insurance sector witnessed an 18.6% drop in the first year premium to Rs 49,335 crore in the April to June quarter of the current financial year, according to a report by Care Ratings. The overall sum assured also declined 12.9% to Rs 8.8 lakh crore in the June 2020 quarter, compared with Rs 10 lakh crore in the corresponding period of the previous year.